Hi, my name is Dr. David Kim. I have been a interventional pain management physician for the past 20 some years. I treat patients with chronic pain with medications as well as injections and also other modalities that's being offered, including referral to physical therapy as well as referral to chronic pain management by psychologists who specialize in chronic pain management as well, period. Um, I've been with Townsend Orthopedics now for over a year and a half, and I also do medical acupuncture as well as regenerative medicine and offer EMG to test the nerves and muscles to further help the patient with diagnosis. The most common reason for pain management referral is that the patient's physician may feel that they are overwhelmed managing the patient's pain complaints, period. They want to know if pain management specialists trained in chronic pain condition can provide specialized treatment options and therapies and help them get off controlled substances and then further help with the pain so they can restore their function and improve quality of life. During the first pain management appointment, one can expect a thorough evaluation of their medical history, symptoms, and nature of their current pain. Um, so the patient should be prepared to discuss their pain intensity, location, triggers, and any previous treatments that they have in the past. And the doctor may order additional tests or imaging to gather more information about the patient's pain complaints. And based on their assessment, the physician will develop a personalized treatment plan tailored to each patient needs, which may include many types of medications, physical therapy, injections, or other pain management techniques. I strongly recommend that patients gather all their medical history and records because that would help the physician to go over the record before the arrival of the patient because the last thing you want is spend all your time just shuffling through papers and see where the records are, when it was done. And when patient submits all their records before, it would help the patient actually go through the visit much more efficiently so that we can actually start talking about treatment plans during the first visit instead of asking the patient to forward other missing records. Also, list of current medications are very vital, including non-pain medications because there could be some interaction, especially with some of the blood thinners. And we also need to know whether the patient's taking over-the-counter medications as well as supplements. And lastly, we always ask the patient to be open and honest. We're here to help the patient, not to judge them. So if they have been struggling with medication use or even other substance that they cannot get off, we have means to refer you out and help you. It really depends on the specific needs and the condition of the patient. Um, some of the treatments that's being offered here include medications. Now, when we say medications, some of the patients automatically think, oh, I'm going to get narcotics. That is not the case. Most of the pain medications are not narcotics. We use medications such as muscle relaxers, anti-inflammatory medications, and also neuroleptic medication that could be very helpful for the nerve component of the pain. And also we offer physical therapy, and this is often most overlooked because patient will come in and say, hey, I do exercises anyway, so why do I need to go to physical therapy? But the point of physical therapy is for the physical therapist to look over you and assess as whole person and also teach you what not to do, which is more important than what to do, and gather all the information about you as a whole person, and which is very helpful in making you better as a whole person. And we also offer interventional pain management techniques using steroids and we do epidural injections, facet blocks, radiofrequency ablations, and we also offer regenerative medicine called PRP. It's a platelet-rich plasma. We draw blood from you and then spin 
the product and isolate the area with highly concentrated platelet-rich plasma, and we inject it back to your joints or tendon sheath, which helps the patient regenerate some of the damages that's been done and also help with pain. And we may even offer you electrical stimulation devices like TENS unit, which is often used by physical therapy. And we may offer you behavioral therapy if you have chronic pain that has not been well controlled with conventional means and that has been shown to be very effective for chronic pain. And also we do offer alternative therapies including acupuncture, massage therapy. I strongly recommend biofeedback and other complementary treatment modalities to help with your pain. The success rate of pain management procedure can vary significantly depending on the type of procedure. Um, when diagnosed properly, the procedures are very effective, and even the most strict insurance companies will allow patients to have repeated injection based on their extensive research period. We offer nerve blocks, facet medial branch blocks, and epidural injections, which have been reported to provide near-complete relief for several months and sometimes patients don't come back for a few years at a time. Radiofrequency ablation is offered for certain patients who done really well with the facet blocks and then that could give long-term relief up to about a year at a time. And sometimes depending on patient's condition and the extent of their back issues or neck issues, it may require repeat injection to control their pain.